Hi, it's me, Sir Henrik. In this video, I would like to explain some questions and answer of solutions of fraction linear equations. Before I begin this lesson, don't forget to click like and subscribe. It's useful for me. Afterwards, take your pencil or pen and notebook and let's study with me. Let's begin with number one. If 24 over x equals six, how we find x? Very simple. My method is like this. X, x times six, x times six equal, uh, this equation is gonna be 24 equal six x. Okay, all these equations we could write down become six x equal 24 equivalent between first equation and second equation. All right, so it means x equal from multiply become division. 24 over six, how much? Four. So four is the solutions for these equations. All right, now next problem. Negative two over four X plus four equals nine. First step, we need to, we need to uh, replace four uh, or four uh, have to move from the left side to the right side from the first term to the second term become, and then this equation is gonna be negative two over four X equal nine minus four. Okay, how much five? And negative two over four X equal five. Okay, such so as my method on this uh, problem, you need to multiply for x time for x and five. So this equation is going to be negative two equal twenty x. Why twenty x? Because for x times five, twenty twenty x. This equations equivalent with this equation 20x equal negative two. So it means x equal from negative, from multiply become division. I have explained uh, that strategy, that method on my previous video. So from multiply, become division. So it means X equal negative two over 20. Or we could simplify this fraction gonna be negative one over 10. Okay, next we're gonna move to the next problem. Six over six minus four equal Six. As I inform you that uh, we need to, uh, according to my method, that this term, this expression, x minus four, must be times with six, multiply with six. So uh, these equations, this equation is gonna be six equal six times x 
minus 4. Six equal six times x, six x, and six times negative four, negative twenty-four. These equations equivalent with these equations. Six x minus twenty-four equal six. So six x x negative 24 from uh, the first term uh, move gonna move to the second term become 6 plus 24 move from the left side to the right side from negative become positive move from uh, the uh, the first term to the second term from negative 24 become positive 24. Okay, I'm going to use this space. Uh, this equation is going to be negative, uh, going to be 6x equal 30. So how much x from multiply if six move, gonna be deficient. From multiply, gonna be deficient. 30 divided by six equal five. So five is solution for these equations. So x, this x equal five. Next week, Gonna solving this problem. As I inform you that six must be uh, six can uh, can be multiplied by nine. So this equation is gonna be negative eight x minus two equal six times nine equal fifty four. And these equations become 8x equal 54 plus 2. Why? Because negative 2 from the, uh, from the first term move to the second term. From the left side move to the right side. So negative 2 become positive two. So this equation is gonna be x equal 56 because 54 plus two equal 56. Oh, this one negative, sorry, negative x and negative x. All right. Yeah, next x equal uh, x equal from multiply multiply become deficient. Okay, so fifty six divided by negative eight. X how much? X equal correct negative seven. So this x equal negative seven. So negative seven is solutions for this equation. Now we move to the next problem. Nine over x minus five equal three. As I inform you that these expressions x minus five can multiply by three. Right, and this equation is gonna be nine equal three times x minus five, and we could expand 
become 3x minus 15. Because 3 times x, 3x, 3 times negative 5, negative 15. This, uh, this equation, this equation is equivalent with this equation, 3x minus 15 equal 9. It means 3x equal now negative 15 from first term replace to from first term move to the second term. So become 9 plus 15. From negative become positive. Right? From first term move to uh, the second term. I'm going to use this space. 3x equal 24. So x equal from multiply become division. 24 over 3 equal 8. So 8 is solution for this equation or x, x value equal eight. All right, now we're gonna move to this. We're gonna solving uh, these questions. For four minus five x over four equal 14. As I inform you that according to my method, 4 can multiply by 14. Okay, so this, this equation is going to be uh, 4 minus 5x equal 4 times uh, from division become multiply uh, 4 times. 15 equal 56. So from deficiency become multiply. In this case, from multiply, from three times x become 24 divided by three. From multiply become a deficiency. In this case, from deficiency become multiply. Next, uh, now, four from first term gonna move to the second term so become negative 5x equal 56 minus 4 right and negative 5x equal 52. So if x equal from multiply become deficient. 52 over negative 5. And this fraction we could uh, simplify become 5 times negative. 10, 5 times negative 10 plus 2. Okay. Okay, negative 10 to over 5. 5 plus uh, 5 times 10, 50 plus 2, 52. All right. So this is the solutions for uh, this problem. Okay, now. We gonna answer number the next problem. Okay, this one. For x 
over x minus three. Okay. As I inform you that, according to my method, that uh, from divisions become from divisions become multiply. It means this equation is gonna be four x equal six times x minus three. So gonna be four x equal six x because six times x after what six times negative three uh 18. okay now uh, for x uh this six x from second term gonna move to first term 6x, positive 6x, if move uh, to, the, uh, to the first term, if move to the left side, gonna be negative 6x, okay? And negative 18 not move, it means still negative 18 here. Now for x minus 6x, equal negative 2x equal negative 18 i'm gonna move i'm gonna use this space uh, it means x equal negative 18 over negative 2 from multiply become deficient if negative two move to the right side, equal positive nine. This is the solutions of uh, these equations. So look, uh, my method, if six X move to uh, the left side of move to the first term from positive become negative. And if negative two gonna move to uh, the right side from multiply become deficient. If deficient and move to the other side become multiply or move to uh, another term. Right, now this one, this problem. Uh, as I inform you my method that three X can multiply with negative one from division become multiply. Yeah. This denominator, if move to the right side or move to the second term from division become multiply. Right, let me answer this. Uh, this equation, if 3x move to the right side, gonna be 4 plus 2x equal negative 1 times 3x equal negative 3x. Right? Now, uh, this is interesting. Okay. Negative three x. Uh, I'm gonna write down uh, this sign first. Equal uh, to x because uh, I will not uh, move the, this to x. Okay. Negative three x gonna move to the right side, to the left side. Sorry. Or negative three x gonna move to the first term. Gonna be plus 3x. So first term become 3x plus 2x. And positive 4 gonna move to the right side or positive x move to the second term become negative 4. Okay. 
negative three no need negative three x no need to write down here because negative three already moved to the first term. All right. Uh, now three x plus two x equal five x. Five x equal negative four. Very interesting. Next, how to find x? I'm gonna use this space. X equal negative four over five. This is the solutions of this equation. Right. Now we're gonna move to the next problem. This one. 6x over 2x plus 2 equal 2 over 3. Um, according to my strategy, according to my uh, method, how to find the solutions uh, of this problem? Very simple. Okay. Uh, you need to uh, multiply three times. Uh, multiply 3 and uh, 6x afterwards, this expression 2x plus 2 times 2. Remember, uh, uh, remember my rules. If divisions move to the to another to another term, divisions are gonna be multiply and multiply gonna be divisions. Uh, that's my rules. If positive or plus gonna move to the to another term or another side gonna be negative or minus if minus or negative gonna move to the to another term or another slide gonna be plus or add all right so it means these equations we could uh we could modify become first three times six x. Three times six x equal eighteen x. Equal this uh, this expressions two x plus two times two two times two x. Plus two. Right. Now uh, we will expand. We will expand this. This expressions become so. This equations gonna be eighteen x two times two x four x and two times two equal four. Right now, for x, for x, uh, we'll move to the left side, or or we'll move to uh, the first term. I remember my rule that uh, positive. If move to another term or another side, become negative. So these equations. If for x move to the left side, this equation is going to be 18x minus 4x equal 4. No need to write down positive x here because positive x already moved to the left side, already moved to the first term. And this equation is going to be, I'm going to use this space, 14x equal four. X equal four over 14. Or we could simplify, become two over seven. Very, very simple. Now look this problem, similar with this one. The method uh, same with this one. How to find the solution? Same with this one. 
five uh, five times these expressions and three times with these expressions. Remember that uh, divisions become multiply and multiply become division. Okay. Now five times uh, these expressions. So this equation is going to be five times negative nine plus five X equal uh, three times this, uh, this expression three times two X plus one. Five times negative nine, negative forty-five. Five times five x, twenty-five x equal three times two x, six x. Next three times one plus three. Afterwards, uh, this is the important step. Look, six uh, x uh, from the second term gonna move to the first term, and negative forty five from from the first term gonna move to the second term. Okay, I'm gonna use this space. If six x negative from second term move to the first term, gonna be uh, positive, gonna be negative, right? So negative six x plus twenty five x. Equal now uh, negative forty five move to the right side negative become positive positive forty five uh, positive three not move to uh, anywhere still here it means positive three here negative six x plus 25 equal 19x and this one become 48. So x equal 48 over 19. How much? 19 times 357 or 19 times 2, 19 times 2, 38 plus 10. Yeah. So 2, 10 over 19 is solutions for these equations. Okay, let's move to the uh, next problem. How about this one? 6x plus 1 over 6x minus 2 equal 4. Remember my rule that denominator or uh, the uh, divisions, if move to the next side or move to the next term, become multiply. Multiply become divisions, divisions become multiply. Neg negative become positive or positive become negative. Now, Next, uh, 6x minus 2 gonna move to the second term. So these equations, these equations gonna be 6x plus 1 equal 4 times 6x minus two. 
So 6x plus 1 equal 4 times 6x, 24x. 4 times negative 2, negative 8. This the important step. Why? Because 24x gonna move to the first term or gonna move to the uh, to left uh, to the left side and positive one gonna move to the right side or the second term. And this equation is gonna be 6x minus 24x because remember the rules that positive if move become negative and if positive if move become negative so positive one become negative one and negative eight not move it means still negative eight I'm going to use this space. 6x minus 24x equal negative 18. 18x equal negative 9. x equal negative 9 over negative 18. A half. So a half is solution for this equation. Now this problem, we're gonna solving this problem. Negative eight plus two x over four x minus five equal two over three. As I inform you that is, uh, if the problem such as this one, uh, you need to use my method that three times these expressions, afterwards two times these expressions. Okay. And this equation is gonna be negative, uh, sorry, three, sorry, three times negative eight plus two x, equal two times or x minus five three times negative eight negative twenty four three times two x six x equal two times four x 8x, 2 times negative 5, negative 10. This is uh, the next step is important step. Why? Because positive x will move to the left side, will move to the first term. Meanwhile, negative 24 going to move to the right side or we're gonna move to the second term. And if move, this equation is gonna be negative eight X. Remember my rules. If positive move to the left side become negative. And if negative move to the other side, the other side become positive. So positive x moves to the left side or move uh, to the first term, become negative 8x plus 6x. Well, negative 24 become positive 24 minus 10. Uh, minus 10 not move, so it means still minus 10 and 6x also not move so it means uh, 
no need to change uh, plus become minus. So if this equation is such as this one, negative 8x plus 6x equal negative 2x and 24 minus 10 equal 14. So x equal 14 over negative 2 and the result equal negative 7. So negative 7, uh, negative 7 is solution for this equation. Right, let's move to the next problem. How about this one? Uh, based on my method, these expressions can multiply with eight and these expressions can multiply with one. And if you multiply, these equations are gonna be eight times x minus one equal one times two x minus four. Eight times x, eight x, and eight times negative one, negative eight, one times two x, two x, one times negative four, negative four. This is the important step. The next step, positive two gonna move to the left side to the uh, first term, and negative eight gonna move to the second term or to the right side. If move eight x minus two x, this equation uh, will become this one because 2x move become, uh, become a minus 2x and negative 8 if move become positive 8 minus 4. 8x minus 2x, 6x. 8 minus 4 equal 4. I'm gonna use this space. And x equal four over six. Or we could simplify, become two over three. How about this one? This problem, negative five over three x minus eight minus two over two x minus four. Also, these problems, you could use um, my strategy, my method, such as this one. This expression, 2x minus 4, could uh, multiply with negative 5. And this expression, 3x minus 8, could multiply with 2. And this equation is going to be negative five, sorry, negative five times two X minus four minus two, why minus? Because look, this is minus, minus two times 3x minus 8 equal 0. Negative 5 times 2x, negative 10x. Negative 5 times negative 4, 
plus 20. Negative 2 times 3x, negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 8, plus 16, equal 0. Now, negative 10x minus 6x. Negative 10x minus 6x. Not move, but minus. Okay. Move if uh, from the first term to second term. Okay. Move uh, if from the left side uh, to the right side. Beside this sign, equal. Right. So negative 10x minus 6x equal negative 16x. 20, positive 20, plus 16. Equal plus 36 equal zero. All right. Uh, now I'm uh, this 36, this 36 will move to the right side. Why? Because we're going to find X. So if you're going to find X, it means we have to design this, uh, this equations going to be this one X equal uh point 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 a number of fractions or an integer if you want to design this equation it's going to be x equal x equal of fractions or an integer it means 36 36 must uh must move to the right side and 16x I stay here, stay in the left side. So if 36 move, uh, this equation is going to be negative 16x equal negative 36. And x equal negative 36 over negative 16. How much? We need to we need to simplify. So of course positive because negative divided by negative equal positive. Divided by four, I think divided by four nine. Divided by four four. Okay, and this expression is gonna be uh, four times two eight plus one two. Uh, yeah, two a quarter, two one fourth. Yeah. This is the solutions for these equations. All right. Next problem. This one. Such as uh, the previous for uh, such as the previous problem. Uh, actually, you could. Modify this equation is going to be uh, x minus 3 times 7, okay, and x minus 3, this expression is times 1. Yeah. Uh, even this denominator, even, uh, yeah, they have denomin uh, same denominator uh, 7 uh, over x minus 3 equal. 1 over x minus 3. All right. And if you time, uh, if this expression is times 7, and this expression is times 1, this equation is going to be um, 7 times x minus 3 equal. 1 times x minus 3. 
7 times x, 7x. 7 times negative 3, negative 21. Equal 1 times x, 1x. 1 times negative 3, negative 3. This, the next step is important step. Why? Because positive x going to move to the left side or move to the first term and negative 21 going to move to the second term or to the right side. If move, this expression is going to be 7x minus x equal positive 21 minus 3. 7x minus x equal 6x. 21 minus 3 equal 18. That means we're going to find x from multiply become division. 18 over 6 equal 3. So 3 is solution for uh, 3 solution for this equations. All right. That's this one. Negative 4 over 2x plus 1 plus 2 over 2x plus 1. Also, uh, such as the previous method, these expressions can multiply by negative 4, and these expressions can multiply by 2. So, uh, if multiply, become negative 4 times 2x plus 1 plus because it is plus the sign 2 times 2x plus 1. Negative 4 times 2x, negative 8x. Negative 4 times positive 1, negative 4. Next, positive 2 times 2x, positive 4x. Positive 2 times 1, positive 2, equal 0. Uh, look negative 8x and plus 4x not move yeah. but negative uh, negative 8x plus 4x negative 8x plus 4x equal negative 4x and negative 4 plus 2 so negative 8x plus 4x and negative 4 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 equal negative 2 equal 0. I'm going to use this space. Become negative 4x equal positive 2. Why? Because negative 2 move to the right side move to the second term. I remember my rules that if negative move, uh, if negative number move to another term or move the another side from negative become positive or positive become negative. So uh, therefore negative two become positive two because negative two move from uh, the first term to the second term. So if the equations such as this one, yeah, 
automatically we could find x x equal 2 over negative 4 or we could simplify become negative a half so negative a half is solution for this equation all right let's move to the next problem 2 over 2x plus 5 equal 4 minus 1 over 2x plus 5. All right. Uh, look at the denominator. 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 5 as well. So uh, this expression one negative one over two x plus five gonna move to the second uh, to the first term to the left side negative gonna move to the first term it means become positive okay if move this expression gonna be uh, 2 over 2x plus 5 from negative become positive positive 1 over 2x plus 5 equal 4 okay uh, they have same denominator it means 2 plus 1 equal 3 over 2x plus 5 equal 4 uh, based on my method on uh, as uh, in my previous explanations in uh, several problems we already solving uh, if the equation such as this one how to find x you could multiply these expressions to x uh, plus 5 you could multiply these expressions multiply uh, with 4 okay these expressions and 4 could multiply if multiply multiply this expressions gonna be three equal four times two x plus five right later on four times two x and i'm gonna use this space this expressions uh, this equation is gonna be three take x why because four times four times two x four times two x and four times five equal twenty All right this is the next step is the important step why because 20 gonna move to the first term or gonna move to the left side if move that means positive gonna be negative so if 20 move to the left side or move to the first term this expression is going to be 3 minus 20 equal 8x. 3 minus 20, negative 17, equal 8x. These expressions, these equations, these equations, uh, equivalent with these equations, x 
equal negative 17. So it means x equal negative 17 over 8. And we could simplify this one. 8 times how much? Uh, times 3, 24 times 2. Times 2, 16, uh, 16 plus 1 here. Oh, minus here. So it means the solution is negative 2, 1, 8. Negative 2, 1 over 8. So this is the solutions for this equation. All right, now this one. Negative 3. Uh, negative 3 over 2 minus 3x plus 2 over 2 minus 3x equal 6. Look the denominator. And they have same denominator. Same denominator, it means we could uh, uh, we could uh, calculate negative 3 plus 2, it means. If negative 3 plus 2, it means this equation is going to be a negative 1. Because negative 3 plus 2, negative 1, negative 1 over 2 minus 3x equal 6. Uh, I want to use this space. As I inform you that, uh, in my previous explanation regarding uh, in this in this lessons uh, when I solving several uh, problems uh, before that uh, these expressions these expressions two minus three x uh, can multiply with six okay if 2 minus 3x uh, times 6, this x, uh, this, x, this equation is going to be negative 1 equal 6 times 2 minus 3x, right? So afterwards, 2 times, uh, 6 times 2, 12, and then uh, six times negative three, negative eighteen x. Uh, next, uh, the important step. Why? Because twelve positive twelve gonna move to the left side or move to the first term. Positive move. So the first term become negative, negative 12 minus 1 equal negative 18x. And negative 13 equal negative 18x. Okay, I'm going to use this space. This equations, this equations equivalent with these equations. If I write down become negative 18x equal negative 13, right? So it means if the equation is such as this one, automatically we could find x. x equal negative 13 over negative 18. Negative over negative equal positive so uh, and we could simplify 13 and 18 because 13 uh, 13 include of include of prime number so we need to uh, no need to simplify and the solution is 13 over 18 13 over 18 is solution for this equation all right 
Now we're gonna move to we're gonna move to the next problem. Nine minus five over three x minus one equal six minus one over three x minus one. Look the denominator. Okay, they have same same denominator. How to uh, find the solutions of these equations? Uh, firstly, negative. Uh, sorry, positive nine. Positive positive nine. Uh, have to move to the right side. And these expressions one over three x minus one uh, have to move to the left side or to the first term. Okay, next. If they move these equations, then I be uh, look negative one over 3x minus 1 going to be positive 1 over 3x minus 1. And afterwards, these expressions, negative 5 over 3x minus 1, not move, stay here. So it means you have to write down negative 5 over 3x minus 1 equal uh, 6 not move, so it means write down 6 here, 9 move here from positive become negative here. Later on, my 1 minus 5, 1 minus 5, if 5 minus 1, 4, 1 minus one, one minus four, uh, one minus five equal negative four. Five minus one equal four. So one minus five equal negative four. So it means uh, one minus five, uh, one over three x minus one minus five over 3x minus 1, going to be negative 4 over 3x minus 1 equal 6 minus 3, 6 minus 9. If 9 minus 6 equal 3, so how about if 6 minus 9? The opposite. The opposite is negative 3. Right. So write down here, negative 3. If the equations such as this one, remember my strategy, remember my method that this expression 3x three, three minus 1 could multiply by negative 3. All right. Now, uh, I will design this. Uh, this equation is going to be negative 4 equal negative 3 times 3x minus 1. I'm going to use this space. And then this equation is going to be negative 4 equal a negative 3 times 3x, negative 9x, and negative 3 times negative 1 equal positive 3. Next step is important step. Why? Because positive 3 gonna move to the first term or gonna move to the left side from the right side if move this expression these equations 
gonna be like this, negative four or negative three minus four. Why negative three? Because positive three move to the left side, uh, move to the first term become negative. Remember the rules that positive, if move become negative, equal negative nine X. Uh, negative three minus four equal negative seven X, equal negative seven, equal negative nine X. These equations equivalent with these equations, negative nine X equal negative seven. It means X equal negative seven over nine, over negative nine. Um, no need to simplify, but because no need to simplify because seven, seven include of prime number, but negative divided by negative become positive. So the solutions equal seven over nine. Seven over nine is solutions for these equations. All right. I'm gonna solve this problem, but I will erase my handwriting. All right. All right. Oh. This one, negative three over six minus X minus eight plus two over six minus X equal four. Look, the denominator. They have same same denominator. If they have have same denominator, it means uh, such as the strategy on this problem. And negative a uh, will move to the right side or we'll move to the second term. If a moved, uh, negative a move to the second term, this equation is gonna be negative three over six minus x plus two over six minus x equal four plus eight. Why plus eight? Because negative eight, if move to the right side or move to the second term from negative become positive. Okay. And later on negative three plus two equal negative one. Negative one over six minus x equal 12, four plus eight, 12. I'm gonna use this space. If you find the equation such as this one, you could use um, my strategy that this expression six minus X could multiply uh, with 12. So if this expression six minus X multiply uh, with 12, this equation is gonna be negative one equal 12 times six minus X equal negative one, uh, 12 times six, 72 and 12 times negative x, negative 12 x. All right, uh, next step is important step because 72 gonna move to the left side. Positive, if move become 
negative. So this if move, this equation is gonna be negative 72 minus one equal negative 12 X. And this, uh, ex, uh, this equation is gonna be negative 73 equal negative 12 X. Okay, and then these equations equivalent with these equations negative 12 x equal negative 73. It means I'm going to use this space. You will find x become negative 73 over 12, negative 12. This 12 here, this one. So this one negative 12. All right, and next, uh, negative divided by negative equal positive. So it means 12 times 6, 72 plus one. Right, so six, one, 12 is solutions for these expressions, these equations, sorry. So six, one, 12 is solutions for these equations. So this X, this X equal uh, six, one, 12. All right, uh, now we're gonna solving this problem. 6 minus 5x minus 2 over 3 equal 2 minus x plus 2 over 6. All right. Uh, next, uh, next step is important step. Why? Because um, positive 6, this 6, Gonna move to the second term, and this expressions x a negative x plus two over six gonna move to the first term, from, or from the right side to the left side. Okay, if move, this equation is gonna be. x plus two over six minus five x minus two over three equal two minus six. Six move to the right side or move to the second term become negative six. And this expression, negative x plus 2 over 6, move to the left side, become negative, uh, from negative become positive. Okay, look at the denominator, 6 and 3. We have to design uh, this fraction uh, become the same denominator. How to design become the same denominator? Uh, three must be times two. If three times two, it means this fraction is gonna be the same denominator. How much? Six. All right, so that means this fraction is gonna be multiplied with two over two. Okay, if this, uh, if this expression is times two over two, this equation is going to be this one, x plus 2 over 6 equal 
2 times 5x minus 2 over 2 times 3 equal negative 4 equals 2 minus 6. Look, 2 over 2. Why 2 over 2? Because 3 must be times 2 uh, because we need the same denominator. To design these fractions become the same denominator. Or the same denominator, we need to uh, continue our working, become x of a plus 2 equals 6 minus 2 times 5x become 10x and 2 times 2 become negative 4 over 6. Equal negative four. Okay. Later on, later on, every term, uh, every term, every term must be multiplied with six. Why must be multiplied by, uh, by six? Because look, the denominator is six. If all terms multiply by six, it means this equation is going to be x plus two. Yeah, six here out of brackets over six minus six here, ten x minus four over six and negative four become negative 24 because already multiplied by six. Six divided by six equal one, six divided by six equal one. So next, this equations gonna be x plus two, minus 10x plus 4 equal negative 24. But maybe some students will uh, gonna ask me, sir, why plus 4? This one minus 4. Plus 4 because negative 1 times negative 4 equal plus four, such as this one, this one plus 10x. Why become negative 10x? Because negative one times positive 10x. Okay, clear? All right, let's continue. Now, x minus 10x. As I inform you that uh, on my previous explanations in this video, uh, 10x not move, but uh, x minus 10x. It means negative 9x. 1x minus 10x, gonna be negative 9x, okay. And later on, two positive two plus four. Plus two plus four, two plus four, positive two plus four. This is going to be six. Okay, and negative 24 Still here. Okay, the next step is important step. Why? Because positive six gonna move to the right side. 
from the left side, from the first term, gonna move to the second term. As I inform you that my rule is positive move from first term to the second term or from left side to the right side, it means a positive gonna be negative. So that means this equation is gonna be negative nine X equal negative 24 minus six. I'm gonna use this space. Okay, so it means this equation is gonna be negative nine X equal negative 30. It means X equal negative 30 over negative nine. Negative divided by negative positive. Now we need to simplify 30, 30 divided by nine. 30 divided by nine, nine times 327, 27 plus 3, 30. So it means we could simplify this 3, 3 over 9 become 3, 1 third. This one. So 3, 1 third is the solution for uh, these expressions. This one. Uh, this one not yet, yeah, for these expressions. So the value of this x and this x is three one third. All right, now I'm gonna solving these problems, these equations. We're gonna uh, find the value of x, but I will. Uh, erase my handwriting first, okay? Now how about this one? Such as uh, my strategy for uh, solving these equations, these problems, also I will use the method for solving uh, these problems. Firstly, negative, negative four, gonna move, to the second term from the left side to the right side. If move, that means these equations gonna be write down become like this. X minus three over six plus, no need to write down negative four because negative four uh, gonna move to the right side to the second term. Okay, plus two x plus one over four uh, equal four plus four. Why plus four? Because negative four move to the right side, move to the second term. And uh, and later on we need to we need to design this fraction. Uh, become the same denominator. Okay, how to design these phrases become denominator? We need to find the highest common factor between six and four. The highest common factor between six and four, how much? Of course, 12. Yeah, so it means uh, 12, if 12, it means uh, we need to times 12 for every term, okay? This term we need to times 12, this term as well we need to times 12, and this term as well, we need to times 
12. All right. So if we times 12 for every term, this equation is going to be 12 times. Oh, so I'm going to use this another space, this space. Okay. Become. Okay, 12 times x minus 3 over 6 plus 12 times 2x plus 1 over 4 and 12 times x dot it means times all right now 12 divided by 2 uh, 12 divided by 6 2 2 times x is 3 plus 12 divided by 4 3 times 2x plus 1 equal 96 and later on afterwards 2 times x 2x 2 times 3 negative 6 3 times 2x 6x and three times one equal three ninety six. So two times x is one to x. Two times negative three, negative six. Afterwards, uh, three times two x, six x, and three times positive two, positive three. All right. And then two x plus six x. 2x plus 6x. 6x not move, but plus 2x become 8x. Negative 3, negative 6 plus 3, not move. 3 not move, but plus uh, negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3, negative 3 equal 96. So, x equal this step is important step why because negative 3 gonna move to the right side from first term move to second term become 96 plus 3 remember my rules that if negative move to another term become positive, or if move to the next side, to another side become positive. If positive move to other side become negative. And then 8x equal 99. x equal how much? 99 over 8. 99 over 8. How much? 8 times uh, 8 times 12. 96 plus 3. So this is the solution for these equations. Okay, but yeah, this x and this x value is 12, 3 over 3 over 8. All right. Um, 
I think clear, students. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you uh, the exercise for you. Just six problems, especially for you uh, for this program. And if you have any questions, or maybe some of you uh, not yet understands or something to ask me uh, for further information, you could ask me through this email, henrik.academy21 at gmail.com. Thank you for your watching. See you 